Yeah, so when I first heard the news, I was, you know, really excited, you know, obviously, because this, you know, it's the first step in, you know, trying to get back to normal, getting everybody together, start practicing and that kind of stuff. So so this first phase, I, I got tested the other day. Um, and uh, so I went through all that. We did physical stuff. So that's what this week's been really, is, you know, making sure everybody's healthy uh, and getting kind of, kind of everybody's return physical stuff done. But, you know, I, I'm just really excited. Uh and excited to be back and, you know, moving forward. Next question is Greg Pickle, Penn Live. Hey, Keaton, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you so much. Can you just tell us what it's like now to be uh, waiting around so you can work out next week, and what can you do in the interim to sort of build up to that point? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I've been, you know, working, working out on my own, uh, you know, throughout the whole, whole quarantine, you know, me being in state college, I was – able to use the fields and uh on my, on my weight room so i'm kind of doing the, those same things now um just you know get ready till we, we start coming back uh soon to you know lifting with the team and uh doing all that but yeah, i'm just really excited like i said before ben jones statecollege.com when you go through the process of a, a summer before your first season, how is that different from going through the process of the summer now? Obviously, you know, everything that's happened has made the routine a little different, but in terms of where your head's at, how, how is it different now compared to a year ago? Uh, I mean, a year ago, it's, you're, I mean, you, you put in the same work. Um, you know, it's more structured uh, because you obviously you're with the strength the staff and, you know, they're, you know, they're working personally with you. So what, what's been different there has, has been the – that personal occasion with the strength staff, uh, you know, we still call them and still talk to us, make sure, you know, we have good situations and, you know, doing the right workouts, that kind of stuff. Um, so as far as preparation, uh, not a whole lot's changed, just, you know, just the situation, right? So you, I'm, you know, you're putting in the same work and I think I'm a little bit even more motivated, right? Cause you're seeing sports, that stuff can go away in an instant. So, you know, it's you got to take it as a blessing to be able to, you know, try and get back and play. And, uh, you know, which, which we're working really hard and we're excited for the season. Next up is John Salberg, Center Daily Times. Hey, Keaton. Thanks for taking the time today. I appreciate it. So uh, I know you spoke to state high uh, coaches and student athletes last week about racial injustice. What was that conversation like and what was your message to those guys? Yeah, that was a really powerful uh, call. It was uh, – some students uh, from each of the sports teams, uh, some students, uh, you know, I'm like student council, that kind of stuff, and uh, teachers, uh, coaches. So it was a good group of people, and it's, it was the, it was pretty much the, the leaders at my high school in State High, right? So, you know, I just was trying to, you know, preach to them that, you know, if, you're, if they're on this call, they have uh, power and they have influence in their community. And... You know they can they can make a huge impact even in state college, and you know I was just, I just told them you know spread love, uh, you know unity you know and another thing I said uh, what sports is you know makes sports so powerful is it brings a lot of people from different backgrounds different races that kind of stuff together so I just said use that use that and you know you know be the influence uh, you know and spread love and just you know, do those things and it was it was a great you know platform and i'm glad you know people are making the effort to have communication have you know these these talks and so everybody uh, can understand and educate themselves and so that's basically what i was saying you know in that meeting and uh penn state did something very similar and you know it's just really really uh, exciting and you know it's the right steps for change and i think you know i was thankful i was able to you know speak and be a part of that our next question is Audrey Snyder at The Athletic. Keaton, thanks for your time this afternoon. Um, going back to the testing and all of that, I'm curious now, having gone through it, um, how would you describe the process of getting uh, the COVID-19 test? Um, and have you guys been told yet in terms of what your access to the building will be like, um, you know, and those types of things, since it's going to be such an adjustment for everybody? Yeah, as far as the test, you know, it was, it was a unique experience. Uh, you know, it wasn't too, too evasive, but it was, you know, it's, it took 15 seconds tops, you know, so it was, it was quick. But, uh, 
you know, as far as the access to facilities, you know, they're, they're being very strict. They got a lot of stuff in place uh, so, so we can, you know, move forward successfully. Uh, so right now we're strictly going to be in Halupa for the most part. So, uh, but, you know, that stuff will evolve, you know, as time goes on and they're just looking out for our health, which is, which is good. So they have a plan, a really good plan to put in place. Next question is Rich Scarcella, Reading Eagle. Hi, Kate. Thanks for your time. Uh, follow up on Audrey's question, and I think you touched on it. Um, are, but are you concerned at all about um, your safety with regards to the coronavirus? Um, and and you feel it sounds like you feel like the right step to be taken. Certainly, what was it like that first time on Monday, returning to Voluba? maybe seeing some of your teammates yeah you know it was you know it's great seeing some of those guys and you know everything is not going to be normal you know when you go back and it and it's you have to understand that and you know i understand that and all the team understands that and you know we're ready to you know as players to make some sacrifices because that's what it's going to take to to move forward and uh like like i said there's they have they have a great good plan put in place um and you know, I believe, you know, we can get through this stuff successful. And I'm, I'm not worried. I'm excited, you know. And, you know, we're, everybody's excited because we want to play football. And that's what, that's, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Uh, and the sport we love. So, you know, we're going to have to go through some different things, you know, in order to do that. Next question is Donnie Collins with the Times Tribune. Hey, Keaton. I'm just wondering, what once you got back, what was the most familiar thing that, that you you guys saw, and, and what what was the strangest thing that you know about getting back and you know, and, not, and having it not be normal? And also, how often do you think you guys are going to be tested? Has that been articulated, to you guys yet? Uh, no, not uh, specifically. It's going to be you know whether you know this whole if you have symptoms and you know that kind of thing and contact tracing. So that's probably you know how it's going to be. Going, but we haven't got any specifics about that. But um, the most a uh, familiar thing is the people, you know, the people are still the same. You still have the same connections that you, that you had before. And, you know, it's just great to, you know, start to see people in this and, and talk to them because you haven't seen them for a while. So that's probably most of the familiar thing. And then the probably the most different thing going back uh, for me, is just, you know, the structure of everything, you know, it's, it's walking in mass. It's six feet apart. It's, you know, this, it's there, it's all this different stuff, you know, uh, you know, when you're gonna work out, you're gonna you're gonna get these gator stuff. So it's 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 those little things that you know are don't seem, but it's like little little changes that you know really you know make a big difference. But obviously. next question is Tyler Donahue, Lions two four seven. Hey Keaton, good afternoon. Thanks for your time today. We had a chance to speak with uh, Tariq a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about your class of cornerbacks, you, Daquan, Joey, and Marquise. Um, how would you evaluate that group? And um, specifically with you getting that start last year in the regular season finale, can you kind of take us into the battle for the starting cornerback job that was left by John Reed and, and what your expectations are? Yeah, I mean, we – we have a very talented group right now. I mean, across the board and all the corners, you know, and especially in our class. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be, you know, a battle, right? So it's competition. You know, it's no, no, no spots given. Even Tariq's spots not given. So we're all working very hard and pushing each other because if we're all getting better, then we're better as a team, better as a unit. And, you know, I think we have a good camaraderie in the, in the room. And, you know, we all work very hard uh, and push each other. So I'm excited. Drake Bo Daddy with the York Daily Record. Hi, Keaton. Um, you mentioned the word sacrifice a little bit earlier. What kind of sacrifices do you envision having to make, and what do you think might be one of the tougher or a couple of the toughest things going forward to get adjusted to now? Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of different things, you know, as far as working out and, and practicing and going, you know, through all the different stuff that comes with, you know, the protocols that they put in place. And one of the biggest sacrifices is probably going to be outside of outside of uh, lash, outside of football. Uh, you know, making sure everybody's you know, uh, you know, being accountable for for each other and and staying standing inside the team and not not uh, 
going out and doing different things that could risk and jeopardize the, you know, people who do the coronavirus. So, you know, we're all going to have to sac make some tough sacrifices. Um, but I think as a team, we're all prepared to, to do that and, and just to move forward. Next question is Nubias Wilborn with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Hey, what's up, brother? Thanks for doing this, man. Thank you. Um, question for you, like, what over these last three months have you learned about yourself or maybe about a teammate that you wouldn't have learned without this quarantine time? Yeah, you know, it's honestly, you know, with with the quarantine time and, you know, the, the situation in America, you know, I have I had a lot of conversations with, you know, my teammates and, and friends and different things just just about about what's going on and how how, how they feel and, you know, what's some, some stories. And I think, you know, uh, I learned about, a lot about myself, too, and, and uh, other people as far as, like, their situations and what people, other people are going through during this time because we're all going through the same things and, you know, we just had those conversations, you know, about how they're feeling. And so I, I felt like I was able to kind of honestly get closer to some people in that aspect, right? You know, we're all quarantined. We're all, you know, in our, in our bubbles, you know, uh, and then with all this other stuff going on, I was able to have a lot of good conversations with people. So I, I say I, nothing specifically, but I say I'll, I, I definitely was able to get closer with a lot of people do through this. And I think the team itself is, is getting a lot of a lot closer through meetings and stuff like that, just still having those conversations and building those connections. Next question is Mark Wolgenrich, SI.com. Keaton, thanks so much uh, for doing this today. Coming up on Monday, um, what's that going to look like? What time do you go? Where do you go? What do you get to do? That sort of thing. I don't, I don't have details right now, uh, but right now it's, we're, we're lifting three days a week, lifting and running uh, through Haluba and, you know, start our normal workouts like we would uh, before, you know, but with with some different, you know, nuances as far as spaced out locker rooms and, you know, working out in the open outside, uh, lifting in Haluba outside, so different things like that. But we're going to, each week, you know, we're going to start getting closer to a normal, normal schedule that we usually would have because, you know, we're getting right back into the swing of things as far as workouts and, you know, meetings and all that. Next question is Andrew Porterfield of Daily Collegiate. Hey, Keaton. Thanks for doing this. Um, so coming off your freshman year, what are some improvements um, that you would like to make coming into your uh, sophomore season, and how have you been making those adjustments uh, throughout this quarantine time? Yeah, so a big thing for me is just maturing as, as a football player, you know, uh, understanding the game more, you know, understanding the, our playbook and understanding our offenses. Uh, so mentally, you know, we've had a lot of good meetings, uh, you know, through Zoom, uh, just to uh, get mentally, you know, prepared for, you know, the season. That's something I, I'm pushing myself to work on. And as far as football specifically, you know, finding the ball in the air, my footwork just 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 blitzing my game at all in all levels, and stuff I'm I'm working on is stuff I'm good at and stuff I'm not good at. So I'm just trying to, you know, work on everything and just keep becoming better each day. All right, we have time for another round of questions. If you do not have a question the second time around, just say pass. We'll go Mark Brennan, fight on state. Um, hold on, Mark. Go ahead. Hey, Kate, you talked a little earlier about the camaraderie among the corners from your recruiting class. Can you discuss that a little bit more? How tight are you guys? And how difficult is it to keep that tightness when you're competing for jobs against each other? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard, right? Cause that's the, that's the guy who's trying to steal his job and everybody knows it, you know, it's not, you know, we don't, we don't hide that, you know, coach is very, you know, open, you know, he doesn't, he, he says what's what. And, uh, so we all, you know, completely understand that. And I think it makes us all work harder and, um, just us, especially the younger, younger guys, you know, we're working, you know, to, to get those, those spots, the starting spots. And even though we were younger, you know, we, we still, competed with each other and, you know, you saw we were all able to get on the field and, you know, contribute. And I think that's, you know, what's, what's really special about us. Cause if, you know, one of us isn't, you know, doing as well, we pick them up just, just because of the competition and the, the, you know, the hard work and uh, just, 
we've just been building camaraderie just, you know, because we're always together, right? You know, meetings and, you know, this and that. We're always together. Uh, practice, we're always together. So it's just it's just a competition and, you know, it's, it's fun uh, and I love it. Greg Pickle, Penn Lots. And this might seem silly, but when we saw you guys work out in February and also last year at Lift for Life, you know, there's a lot of closeness to that encouragement and celebration, high fives, things like that, things that aren't really advisable in this day and age. Have you given any thought to what motivation and, and congratulations look like uh, for workouts under these conditions? Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be different. You know, it's, you know, I think obviously verbally, you know, it's that's the biggest thing. Because uh, you're not gonna have that that physical contact, the the, the daps, the high fives, you know, the chest pumps. You won't have as much of you won't have as much of that uh, as a, as you as you did before. But uh, you know, I think it's, it's still gonna be the same. You know, you know, the leader still gonna be vocal, and you know, if someone makes a good play or someone you know is, is working hard, you know, you can still let them know and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think uh, that much is, is gonna change uh, on that aspect of it. Carter Memorial is almost done. Have you been by there recently? And, and, and the other part of that is, you know, I, I know Micah has argued a lot for getting the ball in his hands, but you might have a better argument for that kind of thing. Have you advocated for yourself at all in that department with a year under your belt now? Yeah, and no, I, I jokingly sometimes, yeah, I, I, I'd be like, let me let me touch the rock a little bit, you know, but, uh, you know, let's see, let's see what I've done. But, uh, you know, it's up to them. But it's not. It's probably not uh, something that you'll see in the near future. But it's something I'd like to do. You know, if the, if the opportunity comes. But uh, it's it's more of a joke and the you know thing between the coaches. Uh, but as far as Memorial, yeah, I drove by there. It's nice. <laughs> it's it's nice. Um, you know, those new bleachers. It's it just. I think the main thing they didn't really take away from the character of Memorial because that was my biggest thing. Uh, you know, it just it's a different atmosphere there. You know, playing in the middle of town, and it's it's a it's a really unique atmosphere uh, on that side. So, you know, I'm really excited for those those younger guys, you know, to be able to have that experience and play in a really nice facility. Um, and you know, I'm kind of bummed I I wasn't able to play in it, but you know, that's what it is. John Sauber, Center Daily Times. Hey, Keaton, how do you feel coming out of your freshman year? Uh, do you think you're ahead of where you expected to be when it comes to your development? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't know if I'd say ahead, but uh, I think I'm definitely, you know, I, I've improved a lot, you know, uh, as, you know, especially playing early, you, it forces you to kind of mature faster, uh, I think. So, you know, I believe that, you know, I'll, from after the season, I, I have more confidence, you know, obviously the, it's experience is key, especially, especially at this level, having the experience and is getting more comfortable each and every snap and each and every play each and every day. So uh, I definitely feel like you know, I, I learned a lot and definitely matured more and got, I was a better player from it. Audrey Snyder, The Athletic. Keaton, going back to uh, some, of the, some of the logistics that you were talking about earlier uh, with everything, I know some teams are doing it where – you know, they're leaving the building and they're getting meals handed to them because they can't go and eat anywhere. They're getting clothing handed to them to wear to the next workout. Have you guys talked through any of that at all? Um, and I'm assuming this also means no access to the players' lounge if you've been told that? Yeah, yeah. So there, we're not going to have a, a players' lounge or uh, uh, what you call, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, they call, they call Evolve, but uh, we're not going to have, like, a nutrition bar. Everything's going to be given to us after workouts and, you know, our, our loops and stuff. Take some of the stuff home. Other stuff, they, it stays the wash like it normally would. So there'll be some changes, but, yeah, there's a lot of stuff is going to be different. Rich Garcella, Reading Eagle. Steven, to follow up on that, have they told you what position meetings might be like or team meetings? Because Bud Franklin, a few weeks ago, said he doesn't think there'll be any team meeting per se. So I was just wondering if that has been addressed. Right, yeah, it's, we're still on Zoom right now and we will be, uh, uh, you know, until further notice. And, you know, obviously <laughs> with, you know, the times, you, it's, yeah. it's, you can't have 150 people in one room. You just can't, you know, it's just, it's not, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's saying you can't. So, 
it's not smart. So it's gonna still be Zoom, like you know we have been. Uh, that's that's not gonna change. Next up is Donnie Collins, Times Tribune. Keaton, on, on the same note, it's yeah, there's a possibility you're not gonna have 107,000 people in, in a stadium, and it'll be a, a much more sparsely filled place than that. Um, it, it, considering the atmosphere you guys usually get, is is that do you anticipate that'll be much of an adjustment uh, as it gets nearer? Yeah, you know, we always talk about you know the, the tough player, right? Um, we, the, the the fans were they're they're the best, you know they they really they can change a game and you know change change a play, you know just just by their support and you know being vocal. So that's definitely going to be uh, a change for us. But as far as mindset playing, I think we're all you know just going to be just as hungry, and you know we'll find you know someone within the you know find the extra juice that you normally would get from the fans. We're all going to find a way to st still get that. But, you know, fans can change the game. It's part of a culture. It's part of a team. You know, they're an extension of us. And, you know, it's going to it's gonna be a lot different, you know, not having that, that same, you know, you know, the fan, same fan base there. So. Hey, Power, Blue White Illustrate. Hey, Keaton. Um, just a positional question for you. But, like, can you describe how much more difficult it is to make an interception at this level? Uh, than maybe high school and and what what goes into that? Why is it so tough to come up with turnovers? Yeah, you know it's it's a different you know level of play, different speed. You know it's it's you can make one mistake and that could be a difference, right? So there's multiple progressions even throughout a route throughout. You know def defending is it's pre snap. It's you know, where at high school you kind of you're more athletic, so you kind of can just go out there and you know. The, you'll find the ball and you will do this and that just, just based off of that. But everybody's on the same level as you. You know, everybody is either just as talented, not as talented, but just as talented or even more talented. So, you know, you just have to, there's a lot more that goes into it, you know, as far as mentally and physically that, you know, is way different from high school. And, you know, that's why, you know, it's more, much more, you know, uh, fulfilling to make a play at the college level. So. Tyler Donahue, Lions 247. Keaton, a big storyline this offseason, one that we're waiting for answers on, is the wide receiver group outside of Jahan Dotson. Uh, you got a long look at, at a lot of those guys we haven't really seen in extensive game action uh, over the course of practices and, and offseason workouts. What's your expectation in that room? Could you give us a few names that especially stand out based on what you've seen from competition that, that maybe we should expect a breakout year from those, from those players? Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited about every everybody. You know, DG, uh, the Florida boys, uh, JD and TJ. Uh, you know, uh, Cam Brown too, who's you know been bound to some stuff. But they're they're talented and they're hungry too. You know, in practice, you know they you know they're they're hard workers uh, and they're ready for, you know to to step up. And that's that that's their mentality. All of them, you know, they they're ballers. So, you know, they're gonna they're gonna step up and play. And I'm I'm just excited to watch them. Rick Bodetti, your daily record. Hey, Keaton. Um, can you describe the effect, the uh, um, presence of Lamont Wade on the defense, on maybe the whole team? And uh, can you even see any of that during the whole virus situation? Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a leader. You know, he's a natural, natural born leader, uh, you know, vocally. And, you know, he can, he can, he, he forces you, you know, and, and pushes you and motivates you. Uh, you know, through his through his play, you know, through his attitude, he's always upbeat. You know, he's always he's always talking. He always he's always you know doing those things, and he's just he's he's been a great leader. And I think he he's he stepped up a lot um, last year for sure. And you know he's, he's doing the same now. So I'm I'm you know it's, it's great playing with him. You know, being able to play with him. You know, just to have that leadership back there. Tobias Wilborn, Pittsburgh Post Gazette. Um, two things. One, when you were explaining how the um, workouts would go, I I think I lost you on the screen there. I know you said three times lifting. And then the other part is once you guys get back going, what are you most looking forward to? Yeah, so it's we're, we're going to be lifting two days a week, uh, running two two or three days, uh, still have our meeting. Um, what was the second question? Um, then what are you most looking forward to? Um, I just, you know, getting back, you know, uh, with my with my teammates is probably the, the biggest thing and you know start building that camaraderie for the season and you know working together and, and sacrificing together and 
you know, sweating together and beating together, you know, because that's what you know it comes down to you know, at the end of the day is the team camaraderie. And, you know, I, we haven't had that in the spring, first spring, spring ball. We didn't have spring ball, so we couldn't build that. So I'm just excited to get back with my teammates and, you know, start grinding again. All right, we got time for a few more questions. Mark Wolgenrich, SI.com. Eaton, having been apart from these guys for two months, what, what were you able to do with them this week so far besides get tested? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's seeing me, you know, get some food with some, with some guys and then, you know, you're just seeing them passing by, right? Uh, and, you know, in town and we see them at the, around the facility, you know, you know, saying what's up, that kind of thing. Uh, so, because we haven't had a lot of whole structured stuff yet together. Uh, so it's been kind of sparse, you know, see you see a player here and there kind of thing. Andrew Porterfield, Daily Collegiate. Yeah, so Keaton, with your dad playing at Penn State and you obviously growing up at State College, how has it felt so far to continue that family family legacy in college? Yeah, and you know, it's awesome, you know, to, to look at that. And, you know, my dad's been an inspiration to me and, you know, he motivates me, you know, every day. Uh, you know, just, you know, being that father figure and, you know, pushing me, you know, to do the things he, he was able to do and, and more, right? Because uh, if you want to be better than your father, that's all. That's what motivates me. And, uh, you know, we, we joke about it all the time and, you know, have, have fun conversations about that stuff. But it's really cool, you know, to look at that, look at that history and, you know, understand it and, you know, uh, understand it. And uh, I'm just, it's just a blessing, really. Our last question goes to Jerry DePaula with Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Keaton, thanks for your time. Uh, I was just wondering, you guys did not have any spring drills. Uh, maybe getting a little bit of a late start in your summer conditioning. Training camp starts in less than two months. Is there enough time to get ready for training camp? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, me personally and, you know, I think a lot of players, you know, they feel really healthy right now, you know, because we, we were able to make the, the best out of our situation. And that's what's special about our team, our guys, you know, our hard workers. So I think we, we took this, this quarantine and this, this time off, and I think everybody got better. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to see everybody come back. And, you know, we're going to be working really hard, obviously, in the weight room and conditioning to be in shape and, you know, be ready for the start of the season.